for men and women. Histoire de Parfum, $18.99. Yes! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great week so far. I know I am. <laughs> So today I'm going to review a fragrance that I fell in love with the first time I smelled it. Yes, the first time I smelled it. And I just knew I just had to have it. I was kind of on the fence about it only because I am so indecisive. Anywho, I was excited when I received it as a gift. I mean, who doesn't love gifts? Thanks, A2. So this fragrance is Histoire de Parfum, $18.99. Yes. First, let's talk about the bottle presentation. Because as you guys know, the outside matters. Aesthetics are a huge deal for me, so A plus on the bottle. It is an instant classic, simplistic yet beautiful. It easily complements any vanity and fragrance wardrobe. The nose behind this fragrance is Gerald Guislain. It is definitely an oriental spicy, marketed for men and women. I love sharing fragrances with Bay. It's kind of something that we have in common. The top notes are bergamot, juniper, black pepper, strong scent of cinnamon, but not too overwhelming. It settles into a vetiver, vanilla, and amber. Perfect fragrance. The wear of this fragrance is forever, guys. Seriously, forever in a day. I mean like 12 hours straight, I could still smell it. And like anyone that was my immediate radius, like totally gave me compliments. All right, so let's talk about when and where to wear this. A normal person would feel comfortable wearing this in a cooler season, fall and winter. Of course, you know, fall is right around the corner and I can't, I've been wearing this all, all summer. I don't care, I don't care. I wear my fragrance when and how I want to, no one's gonna tell me that. Nobody's gonna tell me any different. Who gonna check me, boo? And yes, I do get the Spice Bomb DNA, absolutely, but I feel as if the scent is warmer and not as synthetic and obnoxiously loud. I don't care. It's perfect. I imagine this scent to be the older, sexier, more refined brother, Chris Hemsworth. And Spice Bomb to be the younger, louder, Still sexy little brother, Liam Hemsworth. Okay, this fragrance reminds me of Louis de Pont du Lac. I feel as if Louis would smell like this. If by some weird chance you got close enough and you were not food, he would smell like this. The scent is classic, understated, reserved, calm, romantic, looking for companionship. The warm spices, the Creole of Louisiana. The scent is not flashy, understated, and very laid back, but still powerful when it needs to be. The bottle is beautiful, just like Louis. Do you find this beautiful? And so, in conclusion, the scent can complement any outfit during the fall and winter for men and woman, I feel as if you need a bottle of this, or at least sample it. I mean, this this set is just everything. It's everything. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. You could be anywhere in the world right now, you know, doing God knows what, but you're here with me. So, thank you. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Press it, yes. And if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, okay? There's a new video every week, and sometimes we do it twice a week. Join in on the fun. And smell you later, fragheads.